as a result of the time constraints we are going to take a look at another problem and uh, if uh, the problem we'll be taking a look at is uh, this one write down a computer solution for finding the standard deviation for a given set of values of x standard deviation is given by sd is equal to square root of the square root of the summation of continuous difference between a particular x and then x bar x bar is usually how we write the mean okay and then the number of numbers is supposed to be divided by it's supposed to divide whatever expression that we have over there please take note of this looking at this particular question there is something that is so obvious that you need to know which is the x bar over here and the x bar is the mean We've seen x bar before x bar is the mean and then now we have i moving from one to n that's basically what this is so when you see this you should know that we are talking about a loop to find the mean you know you find all the sum and divide by the number of items this particular question should have been solved in the case that we have uh, this item what is the name graph in the case we have uh, an array okay but because we do not know about arrays we are going to do it without the array concept so we are going to be taking the input several times for like it should be the same input we don't give the same input basically i'm trying to try to create a type of understanding over here it's supposed to be the same input so you need to sort of get and then basically let's let's start let's start and then in the long run whatever we get under the square root sign we have to find the square root of and then finally that becomes our standard deviation um so the x bar is the mean and the sigma sign is for aggregation finding the sum so let's uh begin all right so to begin let me delete this stuff here. And then I pull this up. I'm going to be sort of typing whatever I'm doing. All right, so in here I have a, I'm supposed to find the mean. So the mean, I'm going to call my mean x bar. But before I even do that, the user should tell me the number of numbers that are supposed to come so number of numbers in a question we said it's called n make things simple let me just call it n okay i've always been an advocate of somebody using a variable name that is detailed like makes sense when i say n somewhere at least you will uh, get what n is but anyways the number of numbers n. after we get to know that what we'll do next right now is uh, to, from the question, taking values from someone for n num about n number of times. And then after getting the values, what we'd want to do is to basically calculate the sum and eventually the mean. So let me set my mean. No, let me just set sum. Num sum. We call it num sum here. Num sum is now equal to zero, right? So I need a for loop for i. Let me make it x. I have suffered for x equals uh, one to n, okay. And for each time the value of x is going to be changing, what I will need to do is to add ask the user for an input input number, right? Input a new number. So when the user inputs a number, I'm going to say sum is equal to sum plus the number. And then when I'm done, I'll just end my for loop. The moment I end my for loop now, next thing I do is I want to calculate for, I want to calculate the mean. So basically the mean is what we call the x bar. Since I have sum, hey, the name was actually num sum, man. num num sum num sum 
So, because I know the number of numbers over here, I'm basically going to what do you call it? Uh, say num sum divided by n, and that gives us the mean. So, x bar in this case is the mean. All right, now that we are done finding x bar, we need to be able to find a difference between the what do you call it? Let me bring you here. Over here, what we have to do now is we have the value of x bar. So for each number that the user entered before, there is a particular structure that would have saved the items. But over here, we don't have that structure. So we are going to take the values from the user again. So in this case, we are taking the mean out. We are looping from 1 to n. We are taking the mean out of whichever number the user is going to enter. And then whatever we get, we will sum it. Okay. So let's think of a variable that can do that particular work for us. So we'll call this variable uh, sum, subtraction. Okay. That's going to be the sum of the subtraction. That's what I'm calling it. Subtraction. If you don't understand, go away. Uh, sum traction okay don't go away uh let's continue that thing you okay so some traction now equals zero and then uh don't go away okay i can see some people have taken off that uh, let's continue with the something like that uh, acting emotional emotional all right so some traction is going to be like this then we have to get a loop that's going to move from 1 to n. And then now input n again. We are going to be taking number again. Uh, uh, okay, after we take number, what we would want to do is subtraction. Subtraction over here is uh, supposed to have the value of subtraction. Subtraction right plus the particular number the user entered minus x bar right the moment we get it this way we end our four and then assuming there is a method for finding the square root we will say that sd which is a new variable we are creating is equal to that method the method usually has been called sqrt i should have talked about it in the question but anyways if there is a method like that called sqrt then having sqrt we'll just say that find a square root of some traction that's all and that basically offended uh gives us a standard deviation take note there's a structure for taking the number the user entered okay based on position and since we've not done anything of that sort, that's how come we we are supposed to be doing this capping tree style, taking the numbers all over again and then like that, right? So this is more or less the standard deviation.